Yes! <laughs> oh, I hate that move so much, but when you call it, that is a beautiful thing. Get out of here. Get this trash off my screen. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our road to number one, still using this team that me and Jay Stewart built in a coaching session. And this team has honestly been doing really good, I really enjoy it. Code is on the screen for you guys, so you can stop commenting, where's the code, where's the code? I, I feel like that happens a lot, like I, I like to, I'm poking fun at you guys obviously, I'm not like actually completely upset when you guys do that. Um, but it, it's funny because I'll always be like, guys, code is in the description, and then people are like, where's the code? I don't see any code, and it's like, it's it's the first thing in the description. Read. You have eyes, man. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm guilty of not reading when people tell me, like, something is somewhere. I guess, I don't know. Like, let's say I'm reading a book, right? I have to, like, reread that paragraph, like, five times before I actually absorb the information. So, mostly because I'm, like, I'm really prone to speed reading. I think the only thing I don't speed read is, like, manga. And I feel like that, that's weird, because a lot of people will speed read manga. I, I just, I recently got into manga, so, like, you know, I, I don't have too many under my belt. I have JoJo's, and I just started Pokemon Adventures, which apparently is, is really good. Uh, but yeah, uh, question of the day, guys. Question of the day is, ooh, I didn't think of one, actually. I, I actually didn't think of one. I got it. What Pokemon do you really want me to build around? Because I've built around some wacky Pokemon. I have a Zorark team on the way, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, let's shoot for 150 likes, and let's see what we have here. This is actually really interesting. Uh, we see a Comfey, um, but they don't really want to go Trick Room mode versus me. Uh, I think Comfey is just there for support, and because Floral Healing and Grassy Terrain does uh, a lot more. I would say versus this team, uh, we have a pretty safe Trick Room setup. Yeah, we can just go Dusclops, Togekiss, bring the Tyranitar in the back. And they don't have too much for... Mm, they do have a little bit for Rillaboom. Like, because it's most likely Sap, Sipper, Gudra. That's, like, the only reason to use it in this format. Um, I'm going to go Primarina. It just seems to have a, a really nice matchup. Also, excuse me if I sound a little bit weird or if occasionally you hear me cough. I don't know why. I have, I have a, a little bit of a congestive state today. Why am I saying congestive state? I'm a little bit congested today. And it's, it's funny, because whenever I'm congested and I try to record, what will happen is... I'll like start recording and then I'll try to clear my throat. And because I record my audio separately from my video, <clears throat> what'll happen is I'll start I'll like start the recording and then I have to line up the audio with the video uh, and I have to listen to myself clearing my throat because I started recording prior to clearing my throat and I'm, I'm just like, ugh, gross, I don't like that. As we see, it's weakness policy. Um, I should be able to safely trick room up here. And they're most likely going to be going for that Draining Kiss, which mm, I should be able to follow me that away. I always forget the priority. So, someone commented on that the other day, like um, the Triage. I can't remember if Triage gives, I think it's only plus one, but if it's plus two, I'm, I'm a little bit screwed here. I'm pretty certain I can follow me away a Draining Kiss, but even if I don't follow me a Draining Kiss, um, I'm, I'm still fine with that because all I want to do is keep the Dusclops healthy. And get the Trick Room up safely. They also do have the option to reverse Trick Room, so that, that'll be a little bit annoying. But, yeah, I think I think we should be good. There's the Dynamax. They're most likely going to be going for the Max Ooze. You don't bring a Gudra in VGC 2020 without having uh, Sludge Bomb on it. That's just a rule at this point. <laughs> Mainly because Togekiss is the number one Pokemon in the format. You, you're going to want to bring Sludge Bomb. It's like your only defense versus it. Or I suppose Thunderbolt, but yeah, Sludge Bomb is just generally better. Because it gives you the max ooze, you know? You can boost your special attack. It's really nice. As you follow me away, whatever hit this is. There's the max ooze. And we see that the Comfey is moving second. So they might have tried to reverse my Trick Room. Yeah, Comfey definitely went for a reverse Trick Room here. That's a little bit annoying. But, um... I should be able to just to try to trick room again, and I'll be good to go. Let me think. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it again. I'm going to go for it again. Um, and my Tokus is likely faster, so I'm going to give them the weakness policy just so I can get a free Dazzling Gleam off. There's not really a point. Yeah, there it is. 
So I should get my Trick Room up. They are going to be at plus three when they hit me, but I don't think they can knock out this Dusclops, considering uh, <laughs> a super effective hit from like Dragapult struggles to knock out Dusclops. I I'd, I'd really prefer it if they would just remove my um, remove my Tokus from the field for me. Yeah, there's the Max Ooze, so that should knock me out. And now I get in my Tyranitar for absolutely free. And I can Bulldoze and go for a Weakness Policy Boosted hit. I kind of want to lash out, but I'm concerned about them. Um, I'm concerned about them. What's it called? Uh, was it? I can't think of the word. <laughs> Ally switch. Ally switch would be really annoying. We only saw Trick Room and Draining Kiss so far. So I'll go Tyranitar here. Um, here's the thing. Like I really, really want to go for the bulldoze and the in the. Uh, in the lash out, but mm, this would be a prime turn to ally switch, and I don't feel comfortable making ally switch calls first turn of the match. We're just gonna try it. Go for the lash out on the Gudra. So I don't have to waste a turn in Dynamax. That's the thing, lash out is such an amazing move because while you could just go for like max darkness or something, lash out allows you to um, basically like forego an entire turn of Dynamax, which is so so good. And this is going to be doing a lot of damage. Gudra doesn't have the best physical defense. Um, it has pretty high HP, but its its main its main draw is the special defense. So I'm thinking this will do a ton. And even if it doesn't, we still have Pre-Marina and a ton of turns of Trick Room. So that was another reason not to uh, Dynamax there. Because Dynamax Pre-Marina could do a lot of work versus him. As we just pick up the KO. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> oh, get out of here, you slimy piece of... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Escargot. I think they're based off of slugs. I actually don't remember. Is Gudra based off of a slug? I think it is. <clears throat> and yeah, now I have uh, <laughs> now I have pretty much a winning position. I don't think there's a way they can come back from this. Like they could bring out a Rillaboom, but I wouldn't really mind because Dynamaxing wins me the game. I'm pretty certain they brought Rillaboom versus me. Rillaboom is um pretty strong option versus my team. Oh no, it's Incineroar. Uh, I'm pretty fine with that. I can just go for Rock Sled and likely get a KO. <clears throat> yeah, I think that it's in my best interest to... I'm going to Nightshade. Actually, no. There's, there's no reason to switch or to keep the Dust Clops in. I'll go Hard Pre-Marina. And I'm actually just going to Dynamax here and go for the... Go for the max rockfall into the Comfey slot, because they should be going for either an ally switch or trying to reverse the trick room here. And being able to make it so Incineroar can't switch in twice would be amazing. Because if Incineroar fakes out here, because if it fakes out anything, it's probably going to be the Tyranitar. Mainly because, I mean, the other one's a ghost type, and uh, I don't know what else Incineroar would actually want to do here. Yeah, it does have a chance to underspeed me if it's absolute minimum speed, which is... Um, it is possible, considering they have a Trick Room option. They could be like a zero speed Sassy Incineroar. Yeah, because Incineroar has base 60 speed and uh, Tyranitar has base 61. Alright. Also, apologies for the other video. Um, I didn't realize that the audio wasn't recording on the game. I have no idea why it did that, but it just didn't want to record the game audio, which was super, super annoying, and I hated that. All right, that's going to give him a lot of HP, but I think plus one Rockfall will still KO. And the worst he can do is Parting Shot here, but I'm pretty certain he he either Parting Shot it or went for the Darkest Therat into the Dusclops slot, so I should be good regardless. Yeah, there's the Parting Shot, so... I'm going to be at minus one when he comes back in, but I could always just max Knuckle and negate that entirely. His last Pokemon, if it's Rillaboom, it's going to be really, really tough. It's Azumarill. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're Gucci. So all I have to do here is... I mean, I could go for max Rockfall into the Azumarill slot. He should be going for Fake Out into the Primarina here. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about Incineroar at all. 
I don't think there's a situation where he doesn't fake out in the pre-marina, so for the sake of conserving some HP, it's technically in my best interest just to protect there. And to go for this Rockfall. Oh, I just realized I don't have Max Knuckle, I have Max Quake. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that. Also, my, my Joy-Cons seem to be acting really slow today, so the inputs have been really weird. I'm hoping that doesn't mess me up later, like by misclicking. This should do a little over half, yeah. Alright, that is definitely a range of Moonblast, so I think I'm good to win. Let me try adjusting my Switch's position over here. Maybe that'll fix the uh, connection issue we're having. Alright, so yeah. Um, this thing is... No, not Hyper Voice. See, it's, it's having weird inputs. And we'll go ahead and we'll just max Rockfall. No, I'm trying to... Maybe the Joy-Cons are dying. Whoa, okay, I'm just trying to just trying to use this thing. Let me go get um, a USB 3.0, and I'm just going to start using my Pro Controller after this match, and maybe that'll fix it. But, yeah. Actually, let me grab that while the turn is doing its thing. I don't know why my controller is acting up. That's kind of annoying. Alright, yeah. This Moonblast should definitely knock it out. We're Life Orb. And now we win. There's the parting shot. It doesn't really make a difference here. Because we have a Tyranitar and a, a Primarina on the field. In fact, I'm very excited to get to click Hydro Cannon finally. We haven't clicked Hydro Cannon with this team yet. All right, Dynamax ends. And it is time to Hydro Cannon, my dudes. Let me protect here, just so we can get the Hydro Cannon style win. Don't, don't forfeit. I really want to click Hydro Cannon for the thumbnail. Yes, okay. If you made it this far, once again, comment for the thumbnail. I'll be honest, like one of my favorite things is making thumbnails. And if I, when I have a good thumbnail, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm really hoping this will be a beautiful moment. Okay, that wasn't as cool as I thought. I keep forgetting that that move doesn't look as cool as the other ones. Like, <laughs> like Frenzy Plant? That looks cool. Freaking, um, the, the fire one. I forget what that is. The, uh, <laughs> I, I can't remember, but that one looks cool. Hydro Cannon, it's, it like objectively looks less cool than Hydro Pump. It's just like a cannonball. All right, but yeah, now I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my controllers, so hopefully I don't have weird inputs. So we'll be right back in a second. All right, we are back, and we're now ranked 4,584. Continuing with this team, two more matches for the day. Three a day, every day. Well, not really. Like, I've only recently been able to do three a day again. <laughs> Sometimes I'll play off camera, occasionally, if I have like 10 minutes alone. All right. Zerth. It's like Earth, but with Z. And it looks like they have a little bit of a scary team. Um, confused about Venusaur on Trick Room with no Torkoal. Yo, the Venusaur with no Torkoal. Um, let me think here. I think I beat him under Trick Room, mainly because Tyranitar does stupid damage. Uh, however, Primarina in the lead doesn't seem awful either, as well as Cin Incineroar. So I think Primarina and Incineroar is a pretty solid lead. In the back, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring Tyranitar so I can hopefully deal with the uh, Psy Spam. And I think my last Pokemon... My last Pokemon might be... It's, it's between Tokus and Rillaboom. I don't really see a point in bringing the Dusclops here. Because I can function outside of Trick Room, you know? I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking Tokus is probably best. It hits a lot of things on his side of the field for a decent amount of damage. Alright, Zerth. Zerth. 
as we see the Cinderace Dusclops lead. That's an interesting one. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of that lead now that I think about it. That, that's incredible for me. That's absolutely phenomenal, in fact. Okay, so with a minus one Cinderace, um, I feel comfortable just going for like Parting Shot and Hyper Voice. Or I could even Fake Out, because nothing really switches in for it. And if it does Dynamax, it's doing neg it's doing negligible damage. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. Um, if he Dynamaxes, it's not doing too much. Like, Steel Spike's going to hurt, but we have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of bulk on this thing. Yeah, no, uh, he just... <laughs> okay, um, bye. <laughs> I don't know what kind of lead that was. <laughs> you could have Trick Room, dude. <laughs> what kind of play was the ally switch? What did you expect to happen? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, what's in the bag? The Venusaur? Okay, cool. Um, Venusaur's dead. Venusaur is kinda dead, cause it doesn't beat it doesn't beat our set. Um we're gonna go ahead and just protect here. And I'm gonna go for flare blitz because I'm safety goggles. I do not get one shot by Max Quake. Yeah, there isn't much they can do versus me. I'm pretty good to go. I, I would Dynamax the Incineroar. However, um, last time I Dynamaxed and Incineroar, we only got 800 views in the video. So that's uh, that's probably a no-go. <laughs> Bad mojo, you know? There's their G-Max Venusaur. Um, likely going to be targeting into my pre-marina, but that's like not even an issue because they get two shot by Flare Blitz. Here's my Protect. Watch him ally switch again. Nah, there's the Max Quake. We're fine. Yeah, no. So we're gonna die on recoil. However, I still have, I still have my Togekiss, so um, I can Dynamax the Togekiss for the win here. The special defense rise or the special defense raise on the um, the dust is a little bit annoying, but I don't mind it too much. And there's the pain split. All right, so I'm glad I did that. So. Now that they've revealed ally switch, I'm going to send out the Togekiss so they want to ally switch. I'm fairly certain I can call this ally switch right here. And I don't lose too much because Max Ooze doesn't do a ton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Hyper Voice to ensure damage on both of these Pokemon in case this goes wrong. And I'm going to go for Max Airstream into that Dusclops expecting an ally switch. Because I don't think... I, I think here they would be like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to ally switch. Definitely gonna ally switch. I feel like that's always their play. Because otherwise, you're just giving me the Venusaur, you know? And regardless, I take the hit, so we should be fine. Also, since I'm Crit Kiss, I do have a chance to cut through the Dust Cops to Special Defense and prevent Trick Room in the, in the future, so I think I'm alright. Come on, tell me I called the ally switch. Come on, baby. Yes! <laughs> oh, I hate that move so much, but when you call it, that is a beautiful thing. Get out of here. Get this trash off my screen. Oh no, it didn't KO. That's fine, you're going down anyways. Get this trash off my screen right now. There's the Max Ooze. Tell me that's into my... Yeah, good. Get this trash off my screen. Get this trash off my screen. <laughs> Bam, get him out of here. That was a crit too. Oh, it wasn't a crit? It just did that much to the Dusclops? That's wacky. <laughs> get this trash off my screen. <laughs> I'm gonna start I'm gonna start saying that more. Get this trash off my screen. I just like that. That's just a that's just a nice little saying. Get this trash off my screen t-shirts? Yes? No? Let me know. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we won. So what I have to do here is I have to Moonblast into you, and I have to Max Airstream into you, because they're likely going to protect in Trick Room. And if they don't, if they ally switch again, then it's going to look like I made an epic call, you know? An epic read. No, they just forfeit. Yeah, I would have. I would have forfeited after that too. 
Get out of here, Zerth, with your ally switch. Thought you had a cool name, but your team sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I just don't like ally switch. It's annoying. Yeah, let's take a look at that team. I'm curious. Like, what was their game plan with the uh, Cinderace? They did have Gunk Shot. Uh, they didn't have Protect. That's interesting. Um, also, no Steel Move, so... Um, Nightshade, Trick Room, Ally Switch, Pain Split, High Horsepower, right? Yeah, they didn't have Protect, so it wouldn't have mattered, but I would have KO'd anyways. And this thing. Yep. Uh, I d yeah, that, that's... That, that was definitely a match. <laughs> okay. So 3,500. Let's get one more for the day. As we're facing a name that I cannot pronounce because it's in a different language. So, um, this is just straight up hyper offense. It doesn't look like they have a way of outright stopping my Trick Room. And it looks like Trick Room messes them up. So I'm going to go with the Togekiss and Dusclops lead for the guaranteed room. Um, Tyranitar in the back looks like it can Nene on them. And I think my last Pokemon is probably going to be Primarina. I would go Incineroar, but Primarina, Primarina seems to hit everything for at least neutral damage. Yeah, everything gets hit by neutral or super effective with Primarina. They have no resist for it, which is pretty epic if you ask me. Shout out to Talonflame, only female on the team. Strong female role model. I respect the heck out of you guys. As you can see, uh, we have a bit more diversity on my squad. Our star player, Tyranitar, female. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm very happy with that lead. I'm very, very happy with that lead, because while they could knock out my they could knock out my Tokus here, they have no way of preventing the trick room. Like, there's the sash. Wait, is there no item on that Ndidi? Okay, interesting. Or did I just miss it? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna trick room here. Because they can taunt, but it's only going to go into my Togekiss. There it is. Expanding Force does not knock me out. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I should have seen that coming. And Big Stupid. Big Stupid Dumb Baby. Um, so how do we, how do we deal with this now? I, I keep forgetting that Ndidi Mail actually gets in prison, and that's like their main way of stopping it. So I suppose my play is going to be to remove the Ndidi Mail. I can get in Dusclops for the Tyran- or I can get in Tyranitar for the Dusclops, I believe. And I'm gonna actually burn my Dynamax here while I get in the Tyranitar. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, it shouldn't be... Oh, I could have Trick Room there. Oh, no, I couldn't have, but... Ooh, that actually isn't incredible. That isn't incredible for me, mainly because this isn't doing any damage whatsoever. However, I can probably get in my Dust Clops now. And they can't prevent the Trick Room with the Ndidi off... With, off, ah, <laughs> with the Ndidi off the field. Yeah, we don't really need to Dynamax the Tyranitar for it to put him work. So if you, I've been running this like Zoroark team recently, and a lot of the time the game plan is just to burn the Dynamax on the Togekiss and weaken everything to the point where Tyranitar just wins. So that's always a fun time. Oh, we actually do so much damage. We do so much damage. Was that a crit? Yeah. I mean, it's a 50% chance to knock out that that Corviknight now. 
It is a 50% chance. I'm kind of tempted to go for it. I'm kind of really tempted to go for it, man. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to rock slide. This might be very, very... This, this might be an awful play. Like a stupid, stupid play. But I'm willing to go for it. Because they can just Dynamax that Corviknight. But also, I'm pretty certain if they max guard or anything, I'm still going to... I'm still gonna be able to knock out this town flame. Like the worst case scenario, they tailwind and they go for like max knuckle into my Tyranitar. However, I think I don't really need Tyranitar to win, as long as I keep uh, I, as long as I keep up some offensive pressure. It's gonna be hard for them to get in their Pokemon because once Corviknight's down, most of their team is extremely frail and they're just gonna they're just gonna give me something. They're just giving me the Indeedee. Cool. Trick Room is up. Trick Room is pretty much up at this point. And I also get two free KOs. You know, barring a Will-O-Wisp, but... I don't know if Talonflame runs that right now. They tend to, like, quick guard. Yeah, there's the Tailwind. So my Tokus is actually still faster than that Corviknight, and the Corviknight's also their obvi- Um, please let that... Please let that be something good. Okay, well, that's a little bit annoying. That's a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Corviknight's also their obvious Dynamax candidate. So what I can do here is I can... Hmm. At plus three, my Tyranitar should outspeed their Corviknight, even under Tailwind, because Corviknight and Tyranitar are similar speed tiers. Even though I'm, like, absolute minimum speed, I'm pretty certain that's how it's going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to max Airstream, and... I think it's my play to get in the Dusclops. No, I should definitely stay with Tyranitar and just go for the Rock Slide. I, I shouldn't lose my Tyranitar even to, like... Max um, Starfall unless they're Crit Kiss. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with that miss because it would have been a lot easier. Their entire team is <laughs> three of their three of their team is flying type, so yeah, I might give them weakness policy, but that that's that's a risk I'm willing to take here. There's the Helping Hand. Who's it going into? Probably Tokus. Yeah, Tokus. That's not going to KO, though. I'm going to get a lot of damage off here. And, yeah. And we're both we're both at essentially plus 3 speed. Because they're at plus 1 under Tailwind, and I'm at plus 3. I was really annoyed at that Rock Slide miss. That was, that was really frustrating. But something to note is they are faster than my Tokus. Rockside's going to get some damage off. Don't be weakness policy, please. Okay, yeah, we're good. I think we should be able to win this. Because they can't stop Trick Room. Unless they're Taunt Corviknight. Taunt Corviknight's really niche, though. Does it even learn it? I'm pretty sure I've seen Taunt Corviknight. Pretty certain I've seen it. Alright. So I need to get my Trick Room up safely. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to Protect. And... I have the option to Rock Slide. I don't mind losing Tyranitar, to be honest. I'm just going to Protect and go for Rock Slide, because this means that if they do knock out the Tyranitar, then next turn I can just follow me in Trick Room. And then get in Pre-Marina and probably win. There's the Max Airstream. Let's see if they Body Pressed. Imagine if they don't have Body Press, they just go for the Iron Head. They don't flinch me, and then I just get my Weakness Policy and win. No, okay, so they gave me their, their Tokus, so I probably won as long as I connected my Rock Slide. Don't do this, man. Please let them be Tokus. Okay, good. Good, we're, we're fine. Corviknight isn't really an issue. Tokus will go down to a couple of turns of Sand. And also, I can just follow me this turn and go for Rock Slide. We follow me. We Rock Slide. We're good to go. In fact, it's probably safer... No, I'll Rock Slide. I was going to say, it's probably safer just to lash out into the Tokus because it's guaranteed to KO. But it, it goes down to Sand. And it's not like they can cut through uh, Dusclops at all, so we probably just win. We're, we're probably just fine.
They're taking their time. Yeah, I don't think there's a way they can win this. Unless they do have body press. If they have body press, it's possible, but I don't see it. They would have body pressed like a turn ago. There's the crit. They are crit kiss. Maybe. I don't. I think that's the first crit we saw. I wasn't paying attention. I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> There's the iron defense. So they're probably body pressed, but if I land this rock slide, um, I beat them with dust clops and pre marina. Yeah, cool. So dust clops comes in. Um, I just continue to go for rock slides <laughs> until they let me get in pre until they knock out the, the tyranitar finally. And then Pre Marina comes in and just beats it. In comes the Dusclops. I also have Will O Wisp, which is really nice, because now I can just wear them down. There's the Akaberry. Interesting. So it's for, uh. I'm assuming that's just to live like Pyro Ball. So I'll Trick Room up here. Go for the Rock Sled. And they're probably not going to forfeit yet, because I haven't revealed Pre-Marina. There's the body press, I'm fine with that. Because next turn I just get in my Pre-Marina, and I just Will-O-Wisp and go for um, Hyper Voice. And I think Hyper Voice into Hydro Cannon should KO. Or even Nightshade into Hydro Cannon, likely. But I'm going to go for Hyper Voice to play it safe. Alright, go for the Will-O-Wisp here. And the Hyper Voice. They shouldn't have a way to knock me out. As we whiff our Will-O-Wisp, which is a little bit annoying, but... I think we're fine. Oh yeah, no, we win. Because <laughs> now they're 100% within Nightshade range. In fact, um... I think my play is just to go for Nightshade and a Hydro Cannon. Yeah, no, I don't even need to, to burn them. We'll just Nightshade and Hydro Cannon. Epic win. Epic meme time, you know? Throw some shade his way. And he drops to the cannon. Beautiful. Alright, cool. So we do manage to get three wins today. 3-0 and with this team, which is really, really nice. I think our overall win rate with this team is we won all three our first session we lost one the last session and we won all three this session so that is six plus two that is eight to one we have eight wins one loss all right let's see what our final standing is for today because next week we're going to be using a different team and overall i think this is just a super solid team i really like this team oh wait i meant to check my rank i completely messed up the button there <laughs> all right let's see 2785. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys for subscribing, leaving a like in the video, commenting, whatever you commented. <laughs> You're amazing. Turn on notifications. Join the Discord linked in the description. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.